but with the topper on it just looks so much better I wanted to give you a look at my hair before I put on the topper it's thin in the front if you've been following me you've seen that before and that's why I need a topper I can bulk that hair up if I want but it, it's a two or three step process and you don't always have time to do that when an event arises so I use the topper I also wanted you to see the back of my hair because this is also another reason why I use a topper right there is my natural colic and if my hair is not freshly washed that will split I'm sure you know what I mean you've seen people with unwashed or unstyled hair before you in a line and it looks like they slept in their hair or they maybe they were leaning on their hair in the car and that's what it looks like and that is not a good look especially if you're up in front of people making a speech or whatever it's just it's not a good look so that's why I love toppers the front of the piece is going to be lined up with the hairline and actually a little bit behind the hairline and let me show you a trick if you do have hair that you can grab I usually take a little bit of my hair and I'll just leave it out there because I'm going to pull that up over the wig for a more natural hairline. I'm going to take the topper, there's the front clips, and then I'm just going to line it up with my natural hairline. Now this has a side part, so be mindful of that when you're, when you're lining her up. So just pop her on there, line her up with your natural hairline. I have to kind of look in this mirror here. Alright, so you've got her lined up, then the comb, just slide the comb up toward the ceiling and clip. Hopefully you heard that. And the same thing with the one on the right side. And then make sure you've got her positioned pretty well before you do the other two back clips. So there she is. And just try to get her set as much as possible before you use the comb. Now I can feel the other two clips back there. And I'm just tightening those up and you push up on the clip and then press down on the clip. And you really will get the hang of it. So now all I'm doing is I'm incorporating the topper into my own bio hair. And then she's got quite a long fringe or bang. Um, she's about the bang is about 10 inches long. You could of course trim it. So this piece here, you could either pull that piece over to the right, or you could just put it behind your behind your ear. So then um, you can see my natural hair right under there or my bio hair, whatever you want to call it. Now let me show you the back. I did a video on this one, this Godiva topper. I'll put a card up there for you. So you see what I mean about the um, this spot right here? Let me see if I can see it right there that's always my problem spot without the topper but with the topper on it just looks so much better and it doesn't hurt at all it doesn't hurt at all and I could I could wear this topper from morning till night and I don't think I'd ever sleep in it but you probably could if on a pinch or if you're on a train or a plane and she she wears well okay so that's that's it for the Godiva Secret Wigs Long Mono Topper in the color Silverstone. I'll give you one more spin.
wanted to tell you about these swell straps. These are not part of this dress. These straps, and I'll link them below, I purchased on Amazon. I actually saw someone with them on television and she just kind of had them peeking out, you know, like that. And, um, which is what I meant to do. I didn't mean for that sleeve to be all the way down. But I just think they're swell. They hook right into your brassiere in the front and in the back uh, if you have a strapless on, which that's what I love. And um, But if you have a brassiere that has um, a removable straps, then you could just replace them with these. Aren't they fun? They're swell, just for really a special occasion. And Christmas is special. So I thought I'd share those with you. Now one last thing. That lady over there, her name is Felicity. She's by Jean Renault. She is in the color, I believe, light gray. I'll edit it if, it, if, it's, not, if it's not the right color, but she does look white, doesn't she? Um, I did a review of Felicity a while back. I want to review her again because I don't think I did a very good job. It was when I first started reviewing wigs. The thing I love about her is the cap. Look at the cap. I mean, you can see the hair. It looks just like your scalp. I've got some shine coming off the wig because I'm close to the to the light, but you really can just see right through the cap. It's just beautiful. So let me pop her on, and uh, and I'll be right back. I put my fancy earrings in. These are my Swarovskis. My husband gave to me for my, I think either my last birthday or the birthday before that. So she, Felicity's kind of fancy, so I like to dress her up. So thanks so much for watching. If you like, give it a like and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon so you know when I upload my latest videos. Happy holidays to you all. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel.